I'd just like to thank everybody for coming all the way down to the beach to celebrate Amy and Brandon's wedding. Um, everybody looks great. And I would just like to um, tell Amy um, how proud and um, I am of the mom and wife that she's about to be. <clears throat> Your family's very lucky to have you. <laughs> The purpose of partnership is to create something greater than we can create alone. Not because of any deficiency in us as individuals, but because when we combine our unique talents and abilities with someone who challenges us, we have the potential to create something more meaningful together. Today your wedding is a ritual that is symbolic of a romance that has already blossomed into a healthy partnership. Brandon helped shape my life. He made me who I am today. He showed me how to be myself, and he was there for me for everything. He helped me to find out who I am and what kind of man I wanted to be. Brandon helped me to find my lovely wife and be the right man for her. And for that, I can never thank him enough. Brandon, when he met Amy, he called me. And it was really interesting because normally I call him and I discuss what we're going to do or make plans. He called me and he's like, yeah, so what are you doing? I'm like, okay, why are you calling me? I call you. What's going on here? All right, this is weird. So he goes, yeah, I was out the other night and I, I met a girl named Amy. And I was shocked. I just actually stopped. I didn't say anything on the phone. I went, what? Who? Who's calling me? So I was a little shocked and I was thrown back, but I knew this had to be somebody special. And it dawned on me right away, this wasn't normal. After 20 years of knowing Brandon, he had never called me and said, I met a girl. <laughs> but being the nerdy guy I am and the scientific guy I am, I had to kind of test my hypo hypothesis. So next time he called, he started talking about Amy again. I changed subject. Is he gonna go back to this? Is this that important to him? <laughs> He went back to the subject four times on that phone call. I'm like, Jesus, what's going on? And my mind shocked me so much, I knew that in my mind, Brandon had just met somebody that was gonna challenge him for the rest of his life. I love that you're always up for dancing the night away, even seven months pregnant in high heels. I love that you always tell the truth. So warning you people, if you don't wanna know that shirt looks horrible on you, do not ask Amy. I love your lighthearted silliness and your ability to laugh at yourself. I love that you're an incredible mother, one that I look up to with such pride. <laughs> I love you're the greatest girlfriend I could ever ask for. And I wish you and Brandon a lifetime of happiness. So speaking of Amy and her new husband, I really did want to stand up here tonight and tell you guys all about how their love story began. But as I Googled Maid of Honor speeches, every site said the same thing. Do not talk about drunken, embarrassing stories with the bride and the groom. So I apologize, but I'm unable to tell you about how their love story began. <laughs> Let's just say, though, Amy was really late for work the next day. <laughs> Sorry, girlfriend. <laughs> Normally, I make jokes about everything, and it's a defense mechanism against me but I had trouble doing that when I was writing this speech. I started to think about why that is. I promise this really is going somewhere at some point, but I realized I had trouble making jokes and why that is. Brandon is family to me. And to everyone in the crowd, I want you to love and respect him the same way I do. I can't mock someone in front of people that don't know him like I do when I want you to revere him and be proud of him like I am today. We have lived on each other's sofas for years upon years. We have spent countless hours 
playing Guitar Hero on the PlayStation, and Amy is terrible at it. We've danced many nights away at the Pogue Fado in our ripped jeans when we thought we were rock stars. We were. But Amy and I are most famous for our travels, from getting on the wrong subway in New York City and ending up in a really bad part of the Bronx, to ending up in a dead end in Maine in the woods at two in the morning, thinking we were gonna die, but somehow we managed to survive and make it this far. And so I will leave you with these wise words from Dr. Seuss. We're all a little weird, and life's a little weird. And when we find someone whose weirdness is compatible with ours, we join up with them in mutual weirdness, and we call it love. What made me so happy, though, is the way Brandon helped me to grow. I've watched Amy help Brandon grow. Over the last five years, I've watched Brandon change who he is, become a better man, and try to take care of Amy. It's with that respect that I think Amy has made the same contribution to Brandon's life that he's made to mine. And I hope you guys all the happiness. I hope you realize how lucky you are to have him, Amy. Thank you. Let's get the party started. Yeah. What is a sister? An ally, a defender, a gentle Brandon arm bender, a seasoned Christmas tree chooser, a yoga maneuverer. An honest debater, a story relater, a take your timer, a whiner, and a diner, a meter, a greeter, a late night chip eater, a secret provider, an on your cider, a carer, comparer, a problem sharer, a listening ear, a loyal volunteer, a birthday surpriser, and cherished advisor, a laugher, a kidder, an anxiety ridder, an auntie, a softie, a singer who's off key. <laughs> a wonder luster, an athletic wear hustler. <laughs> a planner, a lender, the perfect gift sender. A ride or die diva, a make you believer. crazy family, but we're full of love, lots of love, which you already know. Uh, we would just like to thank everybody for coming, and all the help we had today was amazing, wonderful. The place looks like it does because of our friends and our family. And of course, we'd like to thank all of you for coming today. Um, we know people have come from all over the province and all over the country as well. And I want to thank my groomsmen as well. My brothers, thank you for standing with me today. And thank you, Marco, for those kind words. I really appreciate those, buddy. I love you.